Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Vanilla Hoi 4, playing as... Greece? Of course, it's not really Greece, but it's a union of Greek-Soviet republics, in which right now we are trying to beat up the Yugoslavians, and basically trying to capitulate the Axis, to have a great, great, potentially cold war between us and the Allies. But I don't think we'll go that far into this campaign, but we gotta beat up the Balkan Entente to be get to the Axis first, which we're doing okay-ish against the Yugoslavians, and we are still sinking... Convoys left and right. Ooh, we actually have our heavy cruisers. Nice. Ooh, look at them go. More? Yes. Six? Six? Can we get seven? Probably not. Maybe. Can we seek the destroyers? Oh. Hey, we still got six, even though it says one. Whatever. Now, we really need to reform our guys around here. The Soviets might be able to hold it. If we could have, like, a general push, that'd be great. But I don't think that's going to be really possible for right now. Looks like our guys are really disorganized a little bit, so... Oh, they're attacking us. Not bad. I know this is over river, but can we try it? Maybe? Hello? People want to send us supplies? Oh god, are we out of guns? Oh, we're out of... Art oh, we're out of guns. And we're completely out of convoys, too. Oh, that is not bueno. There you go. Do that. So we can always get a few more convoys, which would be nice. Yeah, how about we build up a few more guns? I didn't realize we actually would need more guns, but, you know, that's just me. Let's see, what do we have? Three. That's not enough. Go down, go down by one. There you go. Hopefully we can get import all those guns, because we really gonna need them. Especially for resistance stuff. Guns, civilian oversight, civilian oversight, that's fine. Anything unique here? Harsh quotas? Martial law? Eh, it's never worth doing this stuff, though. It's 43 better sub stuff. We already got the best subs possible for now. We could do that. Mm, any more output? Yes. Absolutely get more output. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. <sighs> Very good. Oh, do we have some subs repairing? or? Alright, they're kind of busy. Some of them are repairing. Just go and throw them right there. We have Panagiotis Kanaris. So he's doing a pretty good job, I'd say, so far. We are slowly running out of fuel, but eh, what else is new? If you're running out, if you're not running out of fuel in any Hoi 4 game, are you really playing Hoi 4? It depends. If you're Texas, no. Or America, no. Ooh. Yes, I don't know. My mind at the time of this recording is going bye-bye. So, ooh, did I turn this on? Yes, I did. My bad. Alright, my friends, sorry about that. But apparently OBS crashed on me and I didn't realize it. So, we've just taken out Yugoslavia. And here are the casualties. Uh, well, actually... We, I just capitulated the Balkan Entente. And we are now fighting the Axis. And, of course, the... Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. It really sucks sometimes that OBS does crash, but hopefully the Axis does capitulate soon. I have already, believe I've begun justifying on the Turks. So hopefully we can get that done. And yeah, have a good time. Actually, no, we actually started justifying on these guys. And we will have them within five days, which would be a great, great thing. But hopefully we can finish off the Axis. I apologize again that OBS crashed and I didn't realize it was a crash. But regardless, it is what it is. Uh, as you can see, we have some Chinese forces and Soviet forces over there. But I figured, you know what? How we just shift our soldiers around and get ready to invade the Turks? I think that'd be a great idea. A great, tremendous idea. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, beforehand, as you saw, the Romanians were doing really well. But when we when I capitulated them, they were not that strong. I kind of wish I could could have shown you that stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Now let's get some more organization up before we go to war and see what happens. I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens. Vienna is now, of course, the capital of the Reich. Because, well... Berlin's already fallen. And things are not looking good for them. Things are really not... Really, really, really not looking good for them, of course. So... It is what it is. Cool. Do our generals have any upgrades? Oh, hello there. No, no. No. Cool. Oh, I yeah, got that. But that's we're just using infantry. And over here, do we have this guy? I split these guys up earlier just because... When we were over here near Albania, it was just made more sense to do so, as you saw. Uh, you might have seen. I can't remember this point. But, yeah. Königsberg's almost fallen. It's a frontline city, which is good, but still. I'd hate to be in Germany right now. Because it's now called the Netherlands, the Soviet Union, or the French Commune. Also... They're also fighting America. America declared war. I forgot if... I don't know if you were able to see it. But America declared war on the Allies. Yeah, I don't understand it either. Oh, wait... Now that is what America should look like. Yeah, under Window Wilkie. Yeah, I, I get it that, you know, the French are communists, but... 
they went to war still with the UK as well, so this is a very, very odd timeline. Oh, Vienna's been cut off from the rest of the soldiers in Poland, so good luck, everyone. Good luck. Now, if I go to war with these guys right now, what faction do they join? Now they, Oh, we still have soldiers over here. Do we have any more subs? Yes, we do. Thank you. Hopefully we can do well. Did they join a faction? No. The Balkan Entente. They're, oh, they saw their, in their own faction, which is good. Very, very good. Hey, we can do probably, hopefully, hopefully very well against Macedonia or Macedonia. Nice. Doing a great job. Awesome, awesome. Come on, capitulate the Axis. Capitulate these guys as well. Hey, look at that. Looking not too bad. We're not getting attacked, but we are... Ooh. Just don't lose too many ships. Sink the convoys as best as you possibly can. Macedonia's gone. Macedonia, Macedonia, however you would like to pronounce it. And some Turkish convoys are gone too. Great. <sighs> See, communism wins in the end anyways. Right? As long as the allies and us don't go to war with each other. Let's go in. Come on. Don't waste time. Actually, I'm going to... Oh, I can't force the attack. Darn it. i got to get over here before they put more soldiers in there. Yalta Conference. We d demanded what seems right. Ooh, okay, then. Ah, uh, You know what? We might just keep give them Istanbul. I'm uh, talking to the Soviets, so we have to deal with it. We want Adirne, of course. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. They're still very weak, so let's keep pushing this way. Liberation of Warsaw, and we have the Peace Deal, which I will be right back and do it off-screen so we don't have to waste some time. All right, my friends, and we're back, and this is the peace deal. Uh, this is literally picking up right where I left off with the peace deal. So I gave Spain a good chunk of Italy because I thought they did pretty well. They were all over the place. Of course, I gave the Soviet Union pretty much all of Eastern Europe, as well as Romania, of course, like normal. Hungary, even Czechoslovakia, and Eastern Germany and Poland. While I gave the Allies, of course, France, Northern Italy, and Austria. Well, the UK got all of Germany just because... Why not? I'm not sure if this is going to be a great peace deal. We still have the Raj here. But I don't really care at this point. We'll see if they pop out anything. I don't think I'll pop anything out here myself. But maybe we will just because things are eating up my manpower quite a bit. So maybe we will. And also took... Excuse me. I took Trieste and Slovenia too. Oh... Italy? Wait, Italy still exists? Where does Italy still exist? Oh, they still exist. Yeah, uh, my bad. Yeah, you really shouldn't exist, so... I want them to fi figure out what they want to do, and does that do anything here? Bop. Maybe give it a day. Don't tell me they have... I no, 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 no. If that's the case, I'm taking that too. I thought I got everything done, but apparently not. Cool. Okay, okay, it's a release nation now, which is fine. Hungary, no, we are good. I, will, I don't mind releasing maybe Yugoslavia under us. That'll be okay. Because we, we don't want to deal with garrisoning all this stuff. Uh, Slovenia, how? No, you're part of Yugoslavia. Come on. I'm sorry, I got to core that too. We're gonna keep Albania with them. SRF Yugoslavia under Tito. So that's pretty cool. And ooh, Bulgaria. We could release a Bulgaria nation. Why not? As much as I want to keep them, they're just sort of factories if we release them. That's okay. And actually, for this group. I'll just give it to you guys. There you go. That's really kind of nice. And that's, I'm keeping Albania under us. At least keep one group under us. So Now, factory-wise, we actually hurt ourselves quite a bit, probably. Yes, we did. So go down to five. And that's not too bad. Cool. We picked ourselves up fairly okay-like. Nice. Not bad. Cool, we're still fighting the Turks' help, so we got to push, 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 push. You guys are over there, which is fine. Just make your way all the way down here. I'm going to throw you over here. And then you guys get right here and do that. Go, 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 go. we got to capitulate these guys. Turks are moving into Iran. Oh, also give the Soviet Union Iran as well as Afghanistan, which I thought was okay. Ooh, we still got Likers. They're nice. Hopefully we might see a Germany here. Maybe, maybe not. Of course, then again, they're still fighting each other. The Allies in America, so we'll see what happens. I do want to see kind of a communist Czechoslovakia come out, but eh, we'll see what happens. No guarantees, right? No guarantees. As long as we can sink more ships, that's all I care about. Look at that. Air superiority. Very good. Very, very good. 
Oh, we do. Oh, the Chinese have shown up here. Great. Thank you for defending roads for us. Thank you very much. Ooh, we sunk a Turkish sub. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, we have combined fleets of us, the Soviets, the Spanish, sinking all sorts of Turkish ships. Oh, this is nice. This is pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Do we have any more upgrades? No. Do you have any more upgrades with our not great task force? But they're doing okay. Yeah, they're doing alright. So, like, another light cruiser, great. So many convoys sunk. By so many, I mean, like, probably quite a few. Also, I gave Iraq to the Allies, just because we could. Actually, who's leading you? Is it Georgi? No, it's, it's Gorgi Dimitrov. The hero of the Leipzig Trials. Huh. Usually if you get him... I think... If you get him before, he's not very good. But now that he's like this, he's better? I'm not really sure. More extraction. Because we can. We should probably get more fuel too, but that's okay. Ooh. Build that up. Any more fuel? Yes, yes. Refineries? Yes. Civilian factories? Yes. Go, my friends. Go. Cut these guys off in Antalya. That'd be awesome. War bonds. Improved worker conditions. Socialist education all over the place. Invest back into them? Why not? Let's invest back into them. That sounds like a nice thing to do. Good. Overrun them. Overrun them. We've only lost 3,000. Not bad. Did we just eat up their... Oh, I must have given them their puppet. Oh, this was Macedonia. I just gave it to Bulgaria because it should be a core. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep it there. I was thinking about giving it to Yugoslavia, but I don't want Yugoslavia to get too strong. I don't want Bulgaria to be able to contend with the, the power up there. And by power up there, I'm Yugoslavians, so. A little bit more balanced, of course, we rule the waves for now. With the Soviet support, of course. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. They should capitulate relatively soon once we get the capital. Unless we would have it. Should be up here. Yeah, we already took the Ankara. Halfway to capitulation. Awesome. How strong are the Turks? They're led by the Fevzi. 4,000 manpower. 30 divisions left. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. No upgrades yet, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. Oh, light tanks. We can pierce them easily. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, wow, they're almost called themselves on the line. Not bad. And the UK really does not want to liberate anybody, do you? Do you have any manpower? Oh, they do have some manpower. Maybe they don't have enough guns. French Commune actually has manpower, too. Not bad. Sure. Oh, we're out of artillery, aren't we? Nice. We are a out of that. We're out of anti-air and well, we're actually okay on support equipment and everything else like that. Cool. So, as someone's wishes, I will make sure that I do not annex everything from the Turks. Uh, do the Soviets have claims? They don't have claims on this area anymore. I thought they did, but that's okay. I could leave them as a rump state, maybe. Uh, level three, level five, level three over here. Excavation five. Let's grab some more fuel. Improved. Oil processing. Nice. They've got to give up soon. Yeah, they're almost done. They're almost done. Now, I have no interest in defeating the Japanese. There's no point for me to. They'd probably strike our boats pretty quickly. And here we go. Now, I'm sure the Soviets really want Istanbul. But... We'll see what we can do. There we go. That's not bad. See, not bad, not bad. This is actually really disgusting, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to liberate Kurdistan. This is absolutely horrific and disgusting, I apologize. But now, we have the Communist Turks, led by Sefik Husnu. He's a reluctant Stalinist. As well as... Kazi Muhammad. What? You're telling me... Kurdistan does not have its own little uh, focus tree. I oh, thought that's what that's what we bought the DLC for. What? 
But, hey, regardless, that is going to be our campaign for now, because I have no, like I said, I have no interest in taking out the Japanese, which in time, I'm sure the communists could do that. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.